that is here for giving me this opportunity. Actually, I was just hoping that I would sort of settle in and let, and let the, the, the eco head set the, <coughs> set the pace and the tone so that I can come in and see how I can fit. But now you put me to bat first, so I must do that. Um, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, let me say how honored I am to be here welcoming the advent of CSAC, the Climate Smart Agricultural Compliant Tool. You know, history teaches us that to change the future, first we have to imagine it. The adoption of the CSAC in guided and fashioning farming practices denotes that we have a tool that will allow us to start imagining the future of agriculture in a changing world. From the perspective of someone like myself, who has been involved in direct field intervention to influence farming practices, I can truly say to you that we have been anticipating such a compliance tool for some time now. In 2011, and for two years after that year, I have led a team through the kind auspices of the Cropper Foundation and the Inter-American Development Bank multilateral facility in, in a participatory effort to develop sustainable farming practices among farmers in four of the major valleys of the Northern Range. From the outset, it was clear to us that we needed a vision to articulate our suggestions to these farmers because farmers who farm this land are not visionless. They have a clear vision of their future and in most cases that vision transcends economic returns to social and yes environmental legacies that they are willing to pass on. In those days we created a localized metric called the High Nature Value Index. <clears throat> and this was to relate a simple locational fact to these farmers that a northern range is a high nature value environment. And that if they are operating in this high nature value environment, they need to be very specific as to what they do. <coughs> then in 2014, I worked alongside Steve as part of a team under the auspices of ECA, ECA Barbados delegation in Barbados, I guess, to be, be more precise that investigated how the entire CARICOM region was faring in the face of climate change challenges to our own agriculture. We are a team of seven consultants looking at the challenges and prospects for building resilience in agriculture in 11 Caribbean territories. But we all recognized that we needed to envision the bigger picture, that we needed a more precise vision to promote agricultural practices that can be executed in a smart way and become sustainable in the face of changing climate conditions. Well, with CSAC, we reach. 